Welcome back to this interesting series feature on the Indian defense manufacturers. Last but not the least, let me introduce to you Zupa Geo Navigation Technologies, an Indian company that is leading the nation's push into future fifth generation defense technologies. Here's a deeper insight into the tech companies working. Since its establishment, Zupa Geo Navigation Technologies has set its footprint in the defense technology market. Being a noteworthy manufacturer of drones, IoT, and other Generation 5 embedded systems. We were a company who started in 2012, working with National Aerospace Laboratories as well as Aeronautical Development Establishment on unmanned aerial vehicles. It was at this time that we realized that uh, the major uh, emphasis of a UAV was on the autopilot or the flight control system. So going forward, we invested resources as well as uh, manpower into creating a technology called DPCC, which is Disseminated Parallel Control Computing for real-time environments. This technology was a very novel technology, which actually was able to power the entire drone, right from the architectural level uh, up to the embedded level. So we offer a kind of an architecture of computing like i3 or i5 for uh, microprocessors or your computer, we offer that kind of an architecture for drones, where we are one of the unique companies in India who offer end-to-end -end electronics embedded solutions for unmanned vehicles or uh, uh, unmanned systems or what we call as unmanned aerial systems. We have had a wide range of experience in PCB design, hardware design, embedded design, firmware design, as well as software design, where we integrate all this into this DPCC technology that you see on the drone. In a short span, Zuppa Geo Navigation Technologies has started working closely with multiple defense organizations for the adoption of its future-ready products and technology for defense applications like UAVs, UGVs, Internet of Military Things and advanced vision-based ADAS systems for armored vehicles. So we work with a number of defense organizations in the Indian ecosystem namely Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, in Hyderabad, RCI, Research Centre, Imarat, DRDO, uh, R&D Engineers, Pune. We are working with uh, Hindustan Aerospace Limited, primarily on supplying our embedded electronics uh, chip, or what we call as the autopilot. And this, uh, this uh, technology enables their vehicles, drones, it might be uh, in uh, terms of DRDO, they are looking at loitering munitions. In terms of HAL, they are looking at heavy lift drones. We are enabling them by off offering our autopilot chip control system to power up and fly their drones autonomously. There's an array of fifth generation products and technologies developed by Zuppa. Their drone, Autopilot Navgati, ensures the nation's complete self-sufficiency in this very critical future defence requirement. Navgati and Edge are fully Atmanirbhar system on modules which can be used to build completely secure fifth generation products and solutions for Indian defence. Let me uh, introduce you to a very interesting uh, fact of a drone in the box concept which the Indian drone industry desperately needs. The, uh, this is demonstrated by the fact that over 8 lakh uh, DJI drones have been imported into India. Some of them, which is around an estimated 1.5, 2 lakhs of them, even making their way into the armed forces, specifically the army. Now, this is a very interesting uh, scenario because none of the Indian drone manufacturers have been able to meet this requirement of a drone in the box and that is why the imported drones were used primarily because of their ease of use capabilities as well as their lower costs as compared to Indian drones. Now this is the gap that Zupa is going to be uh, filling with the uh, soon to be launched Ajit Mini. Zupa Geo Navigation Technologies has been financially supported in their pioneering efforts to develop this indigenous technology by Department of Science and Technology's flagship organization, TIFAC, India Nivesh, and First Bridge Fund Managers. 
today, if you look at the defense side, neither is the tank going to change, neither is the vehicle going to change, neither is the jeep going to change significantly. If you look at the civilian side, the car is not going to change, neither is the truck going to change. Okay. But what is going to be added on top of this is an electronic layer. Then electronic layer of data be used for controlling something or the data could be used for analytics. Now we are all used to you know getting data you know from our phones. But if you look at it, you, the, you give a lot of data, you make the decision at the end of it. But something like a machine or a plant or a you know vehicle is not going to be giving you that data. So the idea is for, uh, for us to be filling that gap of enabling fifth generation technologies by pulling out data from these things in their operations as well as controlling them electronically. With the announcement of the new semiconductor policy and various support initiatives, Zuppa is actively in discussions with the Tamil Nadu government for setting up a fabulous semiconductor venture to convert edge and navgati into wafer-level silicon chips. If this comes through, it would be the first ever case of completely Atmanirbhar commercially selling products being converted to a silicon enabling a future-ready defence solutions which are made in India. These companies have shown the expertise of the nation and put forth the advancement in technologies aiding in the development and expansion in the defence sector. Stay tuned for more such stories from this special series Atmanirbhar Bharat Makers for Indian Defence. Thank you for watching.